हाय गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम कैसे हो आप सब आज मैं बहुत खुश हूं कल मैं कमेंट्स चेक कर रहा था तो एक स्टूडेंट ने मुझे वहां से टॉपिक दिया था कि आप सर इस टॉपिक पे लेक्चर दीजिए और आज मैं उसी टॉपिक पे यहां पे लेक्चर दूंगा वो टॉपिक है हेल्थ एंड डिजीज ये 12th क्लास में है बायोलॉजी का टॉपिक है हेल्थ एंड डिजीज शुरू करने से पहले मैं आप सब से एक बार फिर रिक्वेस्ट कर रहा हूं कि अगर आपने मेरी इस चैनल को अभी सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो मेहरबानी करके इसे सब्सक्राइब करिए लाइक करिए शेयर करिए अपने दोस्तों के साथ और कमेंट करना ना भूलिए शुरू करते हैं हेल्थ एंड डिजीज हेल्थ एंड डिजीज हेल्थ वी सिंपली डिफाइन इट इज physical fitness but if we define health it is not only physical fitness it is to define health it is a state of complete physical mental social and spiritual well being it is a state of complete physical mental social and spiritual well being and merely the absence of disease and infirmity that is defined as health health defined as it is a state of complete physical mental social and spiritual well being and merely the absence of disease and infirmity so for disease is concerned disease is any harmful deviation any harmful deviation disease is any harmful deviation from normal structure or functional state of an organism that is defined as disease agar hum human ki baat karenge human disease Human disease. There are different kinds of human disease. First one that is communicable disease. Another one that is non-communicable. And third one that is genetic. Communicable. This is also called infectious disease. so far communicable disease is concerned these are the disease caused by pathogens communicable disease these are the disease caused by pathogens such as bacteria virus fungi parasites and these disease communicable disease these are also called contagious disease contagious disease communicable disease these are also called contagious disease contagious disease means these are easily transmitted from person to person contagious means these are easily transmitted from person to person you know the different examples of communicable disease tuberculosis malaria typhoid influenza etc these are communicable disease but some disease these are lethal some disease these are lethal example sars severe acute respiratory syndrome mers middle east respiratory syndrome and nowadays presently of presently you are seeing that is covid 19 known as corona virus all are contagious covid 19 you are seeing presently in present condition covid 19 known as corona virus hitting nowadays hitting whole world and you are seeing the infected persons these, these are kept in in isolation these are kept in isolation because these are contagious and moving ahead the disease 
causing these organisms. These are called pathogenic organisms. Pathogenic organisms. And here man is the host. Man is the host. Pathogenic organisms, disease causing organisms, these are called pathogenic organisms. And here man is the host. And what pathogen does? It enters the host either directly or by contact with contaminated air, water or other matter. And here I will, I will uh, show here it. It is called triad disease. Here it is host, it is agent and it is environment. It is agent. It is parasitic organism. Agent. It is parasitic organism. Host. In which the parasitic organism, in which the parasitic organism grows, completes its life cycle in it. In which the parasitic organism grows, completes its life cycle in it. And environment containing air, water, etc through which the parasitic organism enters the host through which the parasitic organism enters the host and so it is called triad disease and whole this model it is called an epidemiological model whole this model it is called an epidemiological model and moving ahead here non communicable disease so far non communicable disease are concerned these, uh, these uh, do not separate from person to person. Non-communicable disease. These do not separate from person to person. We are different. Depending upon the causative agents, we are different non-communicable non disease. One is degenerative disease. Degenerative disease. We are another one that is deficiency disease. We are another one that is allergic disease. And another one that is cancerous disease. So far, degenerative diseases are concerned. These are caused by the malfunction of some vital organs in the body. Degenerative disease, these are caused by the malfunction of some vital organs. Vital organs say lungs, heart, or CNS, certain nervous system. One of the examples I may see here, it is coronary heart disease. Coronary heart disease, that is degenerative disease. I may say simply it is heart attack. Heart attack is one of the examples of degenerative disease. And another one that is deficiency disease. Deficiency disease, all you know, that's the deficiency. That's the deficiency of nutrient in the diet. Deficiency of nutrient in the diet. Say, proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, etc. So, deficiency disease, it is simply the uh, deficiency of nutrients in the diet. Deficiency of nutrients in the diet. And another one that is allergic disease. So, for allergic disease concern, in which the body is hypersensitive to foreign substance. Body is hypersensitive to foreign substance. To foreign substance. Foreign substance means simply pollen grains, silic, nylon, or some volatile substance in the atmosphere. That that is associated with the allergic disease. Example: We have allergic disease. We have asthma. Asthma is one of the allergic disease. Yeah, hay fever. I mean, right here, asthma or hay fever. That are allergic disease. And after that, it is the most Dreaded disease in the human being that is cancer. Cancer is one of the most dreaded disease in the human being. I may write it here. I may write it here. So far, cancer is concerned. It is one of the most dreaded disease in the human being. Cancer 
means sir it is abnormal uncontrolled unwanted growth of tissues abnormal uncontrolled unwanted growth of tissues growth of tissues cancer it is abnormal uncontrolled unwanted growth of tissues here we see normal cells in the human body normal cells in the human body they have the property of contact inhibition normal cells in the human body they have the property of contact inhibition by which they contact with other cells to inhibit unregulatory growth to inhibit unregulatory growth but what these cancer cells does they lost their property they lost their property cancer cells lost property that is contact inhibition they lost their property and these cancer cells grow and these cancer cells grow and give rise to large mass of cells these cancer cells grow and give rise to large mass of cells and what that result is results in tumor that result is tumor and so far here is so far here tumor is concerned we have two types of tumor we have two types of tumor i may write it here we have two types of tumor one is malignant tumor malignant tumor and another one that is malignant tumor malignant tumor so far malignant tumor is concerned the cells are confined to their original location in malignant tumor cells remain in original position original position and original location malignant tumor cells are confined to their original location and these cells grow slowly these cells grow slowly one more point here malignant tumor is concerned these do not show metastasis these do not show metastasis metastasis means cells do not divide and here 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 metastasis means malignant tumor this, this uh, does not show metastasis metastasis means cells divide and reaches to different organs of the body and reaches to different organs of the body so far malignant tumor is concerned it does not show metastasis that is why it causes little effect that is why it causes little effect do not show metastasis and in compared to this malignant tumor malignant tumor that is cells proliferate to different areas cells proliferate to different areas to different areas and in this tumor malignant tumor cells grow rapidly cells grow or rapidly and malignant tumor in malignant tumor this shows metastasis this shows metastasis this shows metastasis that is cells divide cells divide and reaches to different organs of the body and reaches to different organs of the body by blood or by limb that is malignant tumor that is why it shows metastasis cells divide and reaches to different organs of the body that is why it is much harmful malignant tumor it is much harmful as compared to malignant tumor as compared to malignant tumor so now to detect now to detect the cancer we have different techniques we have different techniques to detect this we have biopsy 
biopsy we have histopathology or bullet test bullet test to diagnose the cancer we have different techniques we have x-ray we have CG scan we have MRI we have MRI for to, tre to treat this cancer we have different techniques to, to treat cancer for treatment of cancer that is we have treat for this uh, cancer we have treatment we have uh, we have surgery treatment for this cancer that is definitely that is treatment that is surgery that, uh, here it is uh, immune therapy immune therapy and radiotherapy this is uh, for treating uh, cancer surgery immunotherapy radiotherapy and one more point here that is alpha interferon alpha interferon alpha interferon that is also treated that is also used to treat cancer what alpha uh, what alpha interferon does it activates the immune system of the body it activates the immune system of the body and destructs the cancer cells and destructs the cancer cells i will summarize this first of all we have health and disease definition of health and disease then we see communicable disease these are infectious disease we have these are infectious disease and communicable disease these are caused by the pathogens pathogens differently we see by virus bacteria fungi parasites and these uh, we call these are contagious because these are easily transmitted from person to person and another one we say uh, non communicable disease these are different disease uh, based on the causative agent that is degenerative disease that is degenerative disease that is deficiency disease that is allergic disease and that is cancer i hope you understand it i hope you understand it agar hum baat karenge health and disease ki to ye wo topic hai कम से कम ये दो तीन लेक्चर्स में कंप्लीट हो जाएंगे और इंशाल्लाह मैं वो टॉपिक भी आप तक पहुंचाऊंगा आपके लिए भी आपके लिए भी मौका है आप मुझे कमेंट करके बताएं मैं आप तक वही लेक्चर समझ लाऊंगा उसी टॉपिक पे मैं लेक्चर दूंगा आप देखते रहिए आसिफ सर्स क्लासेस थैंक यू हैव नाइस डे